What is it, Arthur? You okay? All of you turned him against me. You're driving yourself crazy. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Arthur. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I, I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. But I ain't holding my breath. No, yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill, this is a death sentence. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an old hey. this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. Yeah, you're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I Whoa! Ah! Ah! I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned. Like I was talking about. Challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, we're gonna need to cut some loose. Let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger out of camp. Uh, Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. 
Well, that's different. See, it, it, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. <laughs> you just don't understand women, Morgan. Okay, here we are. Hold. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. Shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something.
How much we get, cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Uh, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. Okay, Come Mr. On, Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Drink this. It'll help. Is that medicine? Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Oh, I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. I don't much like it. I, I, out here. No more. Uh, Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right?
How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> If you more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? <laughs> it's scared! What the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover, or just the boys are coming. windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! And Miss 
solve this. Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh, no, oh. they don't. Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <clears throat> he saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Another day. I apologize. I'm in too sour of a mood. ¿Cómo está todo? Easy, killer. That's rich from you. I ain't trying to rile you. Believe me.
to buy now, man. I need help again. Come on. Okay, okay, fine. I know this doesn't look good, but I swear I didn't do nothing wrong. You can't stay out of trouble, can you? Just shoot the shackles, one bullet. That's all. All right. God, Second time yes. is the charm. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. Listen, buddy, I ain't got a red cent for you, and I feel terrible. But I did overhear something of interest. You know Ansberg? Well, some la di da rich folks bought up a little cabin up north of there. Very remote. You get me? What? I look the type for all that, huh? That's up to you, friend. They'll all be looking for you something fierce. They won't find me. Not this time. Yeah.
Came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence, or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Yourself, friend, this won't take long. Damn, 
Captain Barry. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Damn, Barry. Think, man. The mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just. I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Okay then, girl. Yeah.
If you would give me a minute, please. Clear this ride up for you. What you need. It's a decent town, but boy, would I like a vacation from this place. Thanks. I'll be right over. Girl. to get blood on my hands. You got no hope, mister. You're in real trouble now. If you ain't all covered in blood. Nothing for you to concern yourself with. You're simply not a gentleman. You're a scoundrel. And quite frankly, talking like that in front of a lady is exactly what I'd expect from you. My friend! You there! Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Don't think too much about it. Just shoot. We're waiting for you. <laughs> you good shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Shoot, sir. Why? 
while our courage holds. Nothing Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Ellen! Silence, you blackguard. Sir, shoot the wretch. Ready? You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My excellent. Fine shooting. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Why too much? No, nope, my sweet. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Morning, friend. I need a wash. You got a bath? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Sure, why not? Sit back and relax, hon. I'll be out of your hair in no time. Let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard, okay? Been a while since I've been able to relax like this. Well then. You must get some bad men in here. That's how it goes around here. Sorry for smell. Been a while. Let's just keep that between us and these four walls, shall we? Well, at least this ain't awkward. <laughs> you were something else. How did a nice lady like you end up in a place like this? Oh, are we that close to friends now? The number of times I nearly died the past few weeks, you wouldn't believe. I wouldn't want that for anyone. Anyway, I'll stop boring you now. Oh gosh, you're kinder than most of the boys I get in here. All right, I think that should do it. It was a pleasure. All the best to you. Best night sleeping Valentine right here. Got everything you need. Have a look. Now, let me just look in here.
That's a fine item right there. Those go pretty fast. Good choice. Good choice. That's a fine item right there. Good choice. Good choice. Ain't no point in being cheap, huh? I get all kinds of coots come in here. That's something. Can I get you anything else? Look around. That's what they say. I can still feel the damn splinters in my palms from chopping logs from the fire. Well, 